Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of shell and tube heat exchangers. These devices play a crucial role in various industries, from power plants to chemical processing. So, let's explore the different types of shell and tube heat exchangers and how they work. Before we delve into the types, let's quickly recap the basic concept of a shell and tube heat exchanger. Essentially, it's a device that allows for efficient heat transfer between two fluid streams while keeping them separate. Our first type is the fixed tube sheet heat exchanger. As the name suggests, it consists of a bundle of tubes fixed into a tube sheet at both ends. The tube sheet is welded to the shell, creating a sealed chamber. One fluid flows through the tubes, while the other flows through the shell. This design is simple, cost-effective, and commonly used in applications with low pressure and temperature differences. Next up is the U-Tube Heat Exchanger. In this design, the tubes are bent into a U-shape, hence the name. Both ends of the U-Tubes are fixed into a tube sheet. One fluid enters through the shell and flows around the U-Tubes, while the other fluid passes through the tubes. This configuration allows for thermal expansion of the tubes, making it suitable for high temperature differentials. Moving on, we have the floating head heat exchanger. It features a floating tube sheet on the shell side, allowing for thermal expansion of the tubes. The floating head can be easily removed for maintenance and cleaning purposes. This type is commonly used when one fluid has a higher fouling tendency as it facilitates easier cleaning. And there you have it. We have explored the different types of shell and tube heat exchangers, including the fixed tube sheet, U-tube and floating head. Each type has its unique features and applications. So, the next time you come across a heat exchanger, you'll have a better understanding of its configuration and purpose we will be taking a closer look at the components that make up a shell and tube heat exchanger. These devices are used extensively in various industries, including power plants, chemical plants, and oil refineries. They are designed to transfer heat between two fluids, such as gases or liquids, while keeping them separate. So, let's break it down and understand the key components involved. The first component we will discuss is the shell. As the name suggests, it forms the outermost layer of the heat exchanger. The shell is typically a cylindrical or rectangular chamber that encloses the tube bundle and provides structural support. It's usually made of materials like carbon steel, stainless steel, or even exotic alloys, depending on the application and the fluids being handled. Inside the shell, we have the tube bundle, which is the heart of the heat exchanger. The bundle consists of multiple tubes arranged in parallel, running the entire length of the shell. These tubes can be straight or U-shaped, and their size, material, and configuration depend on factors like the desired heat transfer rate, pressure, and temperature requirements. The next crucial component is the tube sheet, which acts as a divider between the shell side and the tube side. It's a thick metal plate that's securely welded or bolted to the shell. The tube sheet contains precise holes to accommodate the tubes, ensuring a tight and leak-proof seal. This arrangement allows the fluids in the shell and the tubes to flow independently. To enhance heat transfer, we have baffles or support plates within the shell. These devices direct the flow of the fluid and increase turbulence, maximizing the contact between the hot and cold fluids. Baffles are typically perforated plates or rods strategically placed along the length of the shell. They prevent tube vibrations and help maintain structural integrity. Now, let's move on to the next component, which is the shell side fluid inlet and outlet. These are openings in the shell that allow the entry and exit of the fluid on the shell side. The fluid is usually introduced through a nozzle or pipe connected to the shell. 
Similarly, an outlet nozzle ensures the fluid leaves the heat exchanger after the heat transfer process. Finally, we have the tube side fluid inlet and outlet. These openings, located on the tube sheet, allow the entry and exit of the fluid on the tube side. The tube side fluid can flow in a parallel or counterflow configuration, depending on the desired heat transfer efficiency. The inlet and outlet nozzles are connected to the tubes, ensuring a smooth passage for the fluid. And there you have it, the key components of a shell and tube heat exchanger. We hope this breakdown has given you a better understanding. So in the end the video summarize, as shell and tube heat exchangers are vital in various industries, facilitating efficient heat transfer between two fluid streams while keeping them separate. We discussed three types of shell and tube heat exchangers. Fixed tube sheet, U-tube, and floating head. Each type has its unique features and applications. In terms of components, we explored the shell, which forms the outer layer and provides structural support. Inside the shell, we have the tube bundle consisting of multiple tubes arranged in parallel. The tube sheet acts as a divider between the shell side and the tube side, ensuring a tight seal with precise tube holes. Baffles or support plates are used to enhance heat transfer by directing fluid flow and increasing turbulence. The shell and tube sides have fluid inlet and outlet openings, allowing for the entry and exit of fluids. Understanding these components helps in comprehending the configuration and purpose of shell and tube heat exchangers. Stay tuned for more exciting content related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.